Welcome back to our mountains. Today we're going to do a hot sausage casserole with some really simple ingredients that you probably have right there in your pantry. Now what I'm using today, Uncle Ben's wild rice, the original, um, original recipe. We're going to use some hot bulk sausage. You don't have to use the hot, but I really do like the hot. Um, it just makes it taste good. Two cans of cream of mushroom soup and a couple of cups of shredded cheese. The first thing I'm going to do, and I've already got my pan heating, is to brown the sausage. And this, of course, can just be fried and broken up with your fork. Good hot sausage. We will drain this when we get finished. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and brown up this sausage. And I have uh, two and a quarter cups of water on to boil. So usually if you boil your water to do your rice and fix your sausage at the same time, it comes, comes off right about the right time. And then you put them together in your casserole. Now my water is boiling and I'm going to put in the rice. Just follow the box's instructions. Stir it up. And we're going to put the seasoning packet in. Stir that. And my sausage is really coming along. Now this recipe is great if you make it the day ahead and let it sit overnight in the refrigerator and then reheat it. It just makes all those flavors meld together very well. But uh, we're going to eat this tonight. The rice recipe calls for a tablespoon of oil or butter, but I'm not going to add that because my sausage is going to have a little bit of fat in it. I'm going to use that. If it has more than that, I'll drain it off, but I don't see very much fat in this. It's pretty lean sausage. Okay, my rice is boiling. Very good. I've made this recipe for years. Uh, I'm not certain where I got it, but I think it came from my friend Kathy Barber. As you can see, the sausage is uh, nicely done. It's a little bit brown. The rice is almost finished, but before all of the liquid is absorbed, I'm going to turn it off. And we're going to add that to my sausage. Stir it in, and then if you use a good size cooker, a good size skillet, this will make it very easy for you. One dish cooking almost, two dish, but just combine all these ingredients. Stir that in. I'm going to put about half of the cheese in and stir that in. I have two cups here. Shredded cheese. It's a blend of Monterey Jack and Swiss. Just any kind of cheese will work. And now I'm going to pour it into my casserole dish. and top it with the rest of the cheese. I'm going to bake this for 30 minutes in a 350 degree oven. Okay. 
Okay. And here we are, hot out of the oven. Cheese is all melted and it looks really good. I have to let that cool. Now, if I had this for brunch, which it's very good for brunch, I would serve it with some fruit, uh, maybe even some fried apples. Biscuits would be great. But for a main dish, I would serve it with a tossed salad and some crusty French bread. Now, I hope you enjoy. I've enjoyed making it. Now, let's taste it. Mmm. It's good. Savory, just a little bit of heat, and creamy. Try this. You'll, I know you're going to love it, and your family's going to love it.